Right, so this is finally the last stock that I'm breaking down this morning, okay? If you haven't se uh, seen the other videos that I broke down this morning or the charts that I broke down this morning, go ahead and check those out, you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we're up almost 3% for the morning. The market's been open for about 30 minutes. Uh, so I have my lines and graphs already set. We're starting from a daily interval. This allows us to find the overall direction and trend that our stock is in. Uh, I'm going to first go over our support and resistance lines for our new viewers, and then we'll go ahead and dive into the individual candlesticks, okay? So this top line represents our major resistance line. You can see that we got rejected over here and over here, which ultimately pushed us down over here. Uh, we have resistance over here and over here. And on the opposite side, it works as support. And you can see that we bounced over here. So these are heavily tested areas, you guys. Down here is our major support line. You can see that we were kind of chopping around and bouncing on this support line over here. And right where we're at, you can see that we tested this resistance multiple times and ultimately got rejected. And then back over here, if we needed to, we could use this as a uh, more prior uh, testing you can see that we have re uh, rejection over here and over here so these are heavily tested areas you guys we have to respect these lines and so let's go to where we're at right now so you can see that once we broke underneath this resistance that we were trying multiple times to break past this resistance and create a breakout and create this uh, reversal for this upward trend However, every time that we come up into this resistance, we get rejected. You can see that we came up one time, rejected, pulled back, came up again, hit this same exact area, got rejected, came up again a third time, three times. This area has been tested by itself and rejected, okay? So if we look to where we're at, you can see that, yes, we are now below this uh, this trend line. Um, it doesn't really show that we are in a downward trend. We're kind of just consolidating and chopping around in this area, trying to create this breakout. However, we keep getting rejected, so that is not really a good sign, you guys. Um, however, let's go down to the one-hour chart and look at these candlesticks more individually and more in detail, okay, or more in depth. All right, so now that we have the one-hour chart pulled up, we can see more of the individual candlesticks, and you guys can see more clearly every time we came up, we got rejected and pushed down, okay? So what we want to see for us to get into sundial is for us to break past this 80 cent area that we keep testing okay if we're gonna break past this area that'll confirm that buyers are stepping up and that we're trying to create this versal and create this upward trend okay this would create this higher low that we want to see so <clears throat> If we can break past the 80 cent area and come back down and retest it as a floor or as our support, that could be a great ideal entry. Have your stop loss on the opposite side of our support, maybe at the 77 cent area or the 75 cent area could be a good stop loss. So if we do break back below this, we'll be able to get tagged out and wait for a better entry. And uh, and uh, you, obviously I'll do an updated video on where we could be heading next if we do break above and back below. Um, but as of right now, we have a bit of ways before we can break past this 80 cent area, okay? So the other alternative is that we either uh, start pulling back now or we do come up into this 80 cent area and get rejected again like we did if we look left. And if that happens, then I'll do an updated video on where we could be heading. And more than likely, you guys, it'll be where I have this red line. Let me go back down to the daily so we can see that. Uh, zoom in a little bit. This red line is our next level of major support, and that's all the way down at the 44 cent area, you guys. So if we do come up into this resistance and get rejected, uh, more than likely we'll pull all the way back down to this 44 cent area. So those are the two ideal entries. I told you if we can break past the 80 cent area and come up and come back down and retest this level, then this could be a great ideal entry. And I already told you where you could have your stop loss at. Uh, and if this happens, you could set your first target to the dollar 31 cent area. And then obviously your second target all the way back up here at the dollar 74 cent area, okay? Uh, but like I said, we want us to actually break past our resistance first. And if we don't and we start, uh, we hit this resistance and we start pulling back, I will do that updated video on uh, where we could be heading next. And obviously, it's going to be around this 40, uh, 44 or 45 cent area, okay? So let's be patient. Let's wait for our confirmation that buyers are stepping up and let's create this higher low before getting in, you guys. Uh, getting in right now wouldn't be the smartest decision. It would be very, 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 very aggressive, okay? So other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And if you, this video helped in any type of ways, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys Monday through Friday. Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day.